Hey guys, welcome to the 197th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to begin learning about the I Disposable interface. But before we can do that, there are a few things we have to learn about first. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a button, and you're also going to need to have a class with a constructor inside of it. All right. So one of the things we have to learn about before we learn about the I Disposable interface is something called a destructor. Now we already learned about constructors, and constructors are called whenever you initialize your class. So we were to just put some code inside of our uh, constructor right here saying I am the CTOR, which is just short for constructor. And then if we were to just initialize our class right up here, so we say my class, MC, new my class, then this code will be executed. So pretty simple stuff. We already learned about this. So since we just initialized our class right here, yep, we get a message box saying, I am the constructor, since um, we have a message box inside of the constructor. All right, so we still have to learn about destructors, though. Now, destructors are called whenever your object is destroyed. And by destroyed, I mean all the information inside of it is just deleted and wiped from your computer. So there are only two times when this can happen. And the first time is whenever your application closes. So in order to create a destructor, you're just going to want to um, hold shift and go above your tab key and just press that button and it'll make like a little squiggly sign. And then you're just going to want to type the name of your class, so my class, and then you're just going to want to have two empty um, parentheses. And in your destructor, you cannot have any parameters for your destructor, you cannot provide a return type, and you cannot put any access modifier on it or anything like that and you can't overload it so this is all you get right there alright and then we're just going to have some code happen inside of our destructor so we'll just say right here I am the destructor alright and I don't think I spelled it right but that's okay okay so this code will only happen when our application closes so now let me click this button right here let's we'll create a new instance of our class and call the code inside of the constructor yep I'm the constructor now we don't get this code from the destructor yet since our application is still running but if we close it we get that code I am the destructor and just closes right up alright and there's one other time where you can dispose of your object and that's if you um, call the dispose method and the only way that you can have the dispose method is if you inherit from the I disposable interface. And we're not going to get into that in this tutorial. That's actually what we're going to do in the next tutorial. But remember back when we used the binary reader and binary writer class, there was a method inside of there called dispose. And dispose will basically just delete everything um, that has to do with that object off your computer. So it's not even there anymore. So if we were to just create a new um, actually let's do system.io dot binary reader br is a new binary reader let's do like a file uh, to do system dot io dot file dot open read and then just empty thing right there all right so now that we have a binary reader right here um we can dispose of it by calling the dispose method from this binary reader class so if we just do br dot dispose that will call the destructor inside of the binary reader um, class. And there's obviously no code inside of the uh, binary reader uh, destructor to just show a message box, so we can't actually see what's happening, but whenever you dispose of your method, it will call the destructor. All right, so that's basically just the purpose of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're actually going to learn how to um, create this dispose method. We can't just say, like, create our own dispose method right here. It won't work like that. We actually have to inherit from the iDisposable um, interface. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So, see you guys.